I'm back with another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We are back, okay, in our normal area. I know y'all are happy to see it, especially after this long vlogmas and just seeing me every day just all over the place. So I know y'all glad to be right back here in our normal area, okay, because we like, we like routine, okay. I miss being right here. I miss being right here. It's been so long since I've been in front of the camera like this with y'all with my lighting and all that good stuff. But I hope y'all enjoyed vlogmas and everything. And I hope y'all are ready to get back to a regular schedule programming. So like I said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Y'all be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we are about to just get right into this video. All right, you guys. So I literally do this same time every time I come here. Just like this. But this video should have been done a long time ago okay um some people do this video when they first get on youtube but i was like i don't think anybody cares for this to be my first video like why would i want to do a get to know me or a q a for the first video you haven't even seen what i have to put out so now that i have i think it's about 522 subscribers yes baby i remember when i had 30 subscribers hey everybody but now that you guys are here and stuff like that and y'all are enjoying the content i was like let me go ahead and do a q a or a get to know me video just so y'all can get to know a little bit more about me um i'm sure y'all have seen you know y'all have seen my past videos and you're able to gather some things about me but i was like i'm still gonna hit up a q a I was going to wait till a full year to do it, but I was like, no, nah, that's too long. Let's go ahead and do the Q&A before we go into 2022 so everybody can be familiar. Okay, so I put a poll on my Instagram and it was um, like the little question thingy because I was getting ready to do this video. So I put it up for any of you guys to comment and type in a question that you want to see in this q and a so that i would just be able to answer a lot of the questions that y'all have stuff like that just different things about me the video isn't going to be super duper lengthy even though i'm just rambling and rambling and rambling right now but we just gonna do the basis and answer some little fun questions so i put the poll up there if you didn't see it definitely go to my instagram at it must be kai and go ahead and follow me on Instagram so that you can see all the different stories I post and things that I do over there that can correlate and come back over here. Let's get right into these questions. So the first question is, y'all, y'all wanna see my notebook? <laughs> Look at my notebook. This is my notebook, y'all, isn't it cute? But anyway, okay. So the first question is, how old are you? What, when's your birthday and what's your sign? So, your girl is 25 years old. I'm 25 years old. Yes, we are a quarter of a century up in here. My birthday is September 17th. I was born in 1996, baby. 90s babies over here. Ain't no 2000s babies over here. Okay, I know I look young and all, but we 90s babies. So, my birthday is September 17th, 1996. And what's my sign? I'll wait. Yes, I am a Virgo. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, come on, stop playing with me. I am a Virgo. Ain't no more, nothing else, it ain't nothing else left to say. I'm a Virgo, okay? Y'all see how organized these videos are, how much I plan and drop these videos one time, all the time. That Virgo, baby, that's Virgo all day. Next question was, where are you from and what's your background? All right, so I am from Atlanta, Georgia, okay? That's where I was born and I lived there till I was about four years old so i really do not claim atlanta georgia i claim macon georgia okay 478 mac town gang gang in this thing and that's where i currently live i currently live in macon georgia if you don't know what macon georgia is it's the heart of georgia and it's about what like an hour 30 minutes outside of atlanta if you meet anybody from macon and they trying to say oh i'm from atlanta i'm from atlanta baby no you're not you're from Macon, be proud of where you from, 478 baby. Your girl is from Macon, Georgia. I live in a 478 per. That's where all this little footage, all this footage that y'all be seeing, places that I be going, everything like that, I be right here in Macon, Georgia. So pull up on me. Next question, am I single? Y'all should know by now I'm not single. I have a amazing boyfriend and 
we have been together for one year and eight months in so the next question was college field of study and degrees so this is where it gets interesting okay i attended albany state university hey everybody you can get up and do the ramble anyway so if y'all know albany state university is it's in albany georgia it's an hbcu shout out to everybody who went to an hbcu Hey gang gang, we are a team in ourselves. Okay, we are one. Even though we didn't go to the same HBCU, we all we all be here all the time. Okay, like you know what I'm saying. So I attended Albany State University and I got my bachelor's in social work. So I have a BSW and I graduated in 2019. I went there from 2014 to 2019. You girl did five years and so I went there from 2014 to 2019. Then I graduated and I attended Florida State University um, from 2019 to 2020 and I got my master's in clinical social work. So yeah, those schools that I went to. So my name is my name name msw so i am an msw so um job outside of youtube so right now okay um like i said i graduated in 2020 April, august of 2020 and that was like the height of the pandemic so it was very very challenging for me to find a job I literally, in a matter of six, seven months, I put in maybe like 100, 150 applications and I either got crickets, like no response, or I either got a rejection. So it was very discouraging at the time period. I was working in retail, I had always worked in retail. But then I started looking into substitute teaching. Somebody on my retail job said something about substitute teaching. So I was like, well, let me see what that is and they were paying good. It's very easy money. I absolutely love substitute teaching. So right now I am a full-time, long-term substitute teacher. I have been in the, so basically that just means I've been in the same classroom for like four or five months because there is no teacher for that class. Yeah, I'm a full-time sub. I absolutely love doing it. It's so much fun. Just, I don't have to do everything a teacher has to do. I just have to do like the surface stuff of like giving them assignments, I'll do some lectures. Um, I don't make my own lesson plan because um, the class that I'm over, I don't know anything about that subject to be frankly honest. Um, coming up in high school, I was a C student, but I started to flourish in college as far as academically. So, but still, I don't know anything about what they learning to be honest. So I actually team up with the department head and the other teachers in the department. They tell me what to teach them and I, I show them. So I'm a, sub, I'm a long term substitute teacher and it was definitely the perfect thing to do to also sustain my YouTube channel and be able to post and stuff like that because I work from seven to three and then the rest of the day, the rest of the time is completely mine to just create and plan and just really put out amazing content for y'all. Okay, siblings, do I have any siblings? Yes, I have a sibling. I do have an older sister. She is 27 years old. She lives in New York. Like I said, we were born we were born in Atlanta, raised in Macon, so we really only claim Macon, Georgia. And I'm the baby, okay? One older sibling and I'm the baby, <laughs> if you couldn't already tell. So, what did you want to be when you were a kid? When I was a kid, this sounds so weird, I wanted to be a plastic surgeon. Yeah, like I wanted to do tummy tucks and breast lifts and you know, nose jobs. I wanted to do all that stuff because I watched a lot of, I think it was like 90210 or something like that on E. I, I watched a lot of that and I just thought it was so interesting and stuff like that. So I really wanted to be a plastic surgeon and then I wanted to be a nurse. Long story short of how, the crazy story of how I got into social work was I was a nursing major for one semester. I did really good, but we were calculating the drip factor of an IV and I was like, I, I can't, I can't. So I changed my major, I said I wanted to do hair and I wanted to own my own salon, so I became a business major to be able to run my own business. But my mama straight up and down told me, she said, baby, you don't need to go to a four year college for that. You need to come home and go to beauty school. But I screamed and cried, I wanna be in college, da 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 da. So I went to change my major to business management and when I looked at my portal, it changed it to social work. I didn't select that or write that on the sheet of paper. It just they just changed my major to social work. Doesn't make any sense at all. But if you know, if you go to an HBCU, you will understand a lot of things that happen in the offices and with paperwork don't make sense. But we just gonna leave it at that. So um, style aesthetic. Okay, so this is where we chat. Okay, my style and aesthetic. I hope I can explain this vision 
in my head to y'all so y'all can get the picture. So I am really going for a glamorous natural. Not to say anything about the other naturals on YouTube, but I feel that they, a lot of them have the same aesthetic. I really wanna give like glam, like female rapper glam, but with natural hair. Does that make sense? Female rapper meets, meets naturalista because a lot of female rappers, they wear the wigs, the frontals and all that stuff. But I want to be so diverse and so um, glam in my aesthetic that it's like bringing sexy to natural hair. You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily going towards the earthy and stuff like that, that earthy, soulful, you know, there's nothing wrong with that at all by far, but I just want to bring that sexy glam to natural hair. So, ooh, y'all just helped me. It helps so much talking it out because I had this vision in my head because you have the super glam, um, you know, and they usually, um, the girls usually wear like frontals and weaves and braids and stuff like that all the time. But I want to be all of that super glam, but make it natural. Look, super glam, but make it natural. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really what I'm going for. That's why I do full beat faces, lashes, all that stuff. I will put on a wig. I will wear braids. I will do twists. I will do a big natural. I really just want to bring sexy glam to natural hair. I just wanna marry them just so beautifully. And that's truly my aesthetic, to be honest. If you don't understand, I'm so sorry. I was trying to explain it best I could, but that's how I can explain my aesthetic. Okay, so how I got into YouTube or what inspired me to be in YouTube. So, um, like I said, I have a master's degree in social work. I've always wanted a YouTube channel. I have always wanted a YouTube channel. I looked up to so many different YouTubers, um, I'm an OG for some YouTubers like Aaliyah J, Natural Nisi or Shanice Crystal as she is now, Aaliyah's face, Kyra Amanee. Like, I'm an OG for a lot of them. And so that, I always just saw them on YouTube doing a thing. And the fact that I've just been able to watch them grow, I really, really, really wanted to do it. The start to do, I didn't know where to start or anything like that. I was just in college trying to get through college, okay? So um, the type of family that I come from is a family of degrees, education, you know, the whole go through, get a job, work, and you're good. Get your pension, get your 401k, all that stuff, right? So I decided that, you know, after I finished my master's degree, like I said, I was applying for a ton of jobs and nothing was working out. Like I was working in retail and it was just, it was just bad. I, I was just in a really low place at the time because I was just like, is this what it is like after school? So I wasn't very happy, but my boyfriend has a YouTube channel. His, he was on YouTube very consistently years ago before I met him. So when I met him, he already had a YouTube channel with a lot of following. I'll never forget it. We were celebrating our one year of knowing each other. So we met December 29th. We were out at dinner celebrating that we had known each other for one full year. And he said to me, he looked at me, he said, so when are you gonna start your YouTube channel? And I was like, huh? Because before then, oh, I'm just jumping all over the place. But before then we had a couples channel. We had a couples channel, but then, um, things started to occur and couples channels are very hard when you don't live together. And me and him don't live together currently and we're not living together at the time. So it was very hard to be consistent with a couples channel and uploading. I only knew how to edit a little bit, but it was just really challenging. He asked me when I was gonna start my YouTube channel and I was like, uh, uh. And all I was worried about was, you know, my family's stamp of approval for it. Would they understand what I was doing? Would they feel like I was wasting time? I just was like, I did everything that I was supposed to. I went to school, I got my credentials. So now it's time for me to do what I wanna do. So that's really what fueled me being like, okay, let's start planning this YouTube channel. You have a master's degree. Your family is very proud of you for getting your credentials. If the YouTube thing doesn't work out, you have an entire degree to fall back on and get a good and get a good job and get my license in and all that stuff. After some time, I think it took me like a month to plan to be to get ready to start my YouTube channel. But my baby was born April 5th, 2021. So we're not even a full year in the game, but I'm absolutely loving being on here and I'm just happy to be surrounded by people who my family 
supports me doing YouTube um, because I go to work every day as a substitute teacher. That's also why I, that it, it's just everything fell into place. Everything just fell into place. And yeah, that's how I got into YouTube. I basically always wanted to do it. My boyfriend was already on YouTube and he was able to literally teach me how to do everything that I do. And my sister, that's her entire field. That's what she does in New York. So she was able to teach me as well to help it be more of a smooth transition. But yeah, that's how your girl got into YouTube. I always wanted to be a YouTuber and now I'm here. Favorite places to shop. So my favorite places to shop are um, Shein and Fashion Nova. I was on Pretty Little Thing for a second, but the sizing of their clothes is a little funny. It's just a little funny. I don't know. So I don't order from Pretty Little Thing like that. I'm mostly from Shein and Fashion Nova. My favorite genre of music, hip hop, trap music. No, I wouldn't even say hip hop. I say trap music. Trap, trap is my favorite genre of music. If you know, you know them two different styles, okay? Trap. What is my race? Your girl is AA all day. I am African American. Period. Okay, none more, none less. That's it. Okay. Mama black, daddy black, grandma, grandpa, everybody black. Everybody black. Whole family. AA. Whole family. African American. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's simply easy. I'm chocolate ice cream. Okay. Period. This is an interesting question. Pronounce your YouTube name. So um, I'm seeing that some people think it's It Must Becky. It's not It Must Becky. It's it must be Kai, okay? If you look at it closely, closely it says it must be Kai, and I'm Kai, okay? Everybody got it? Cool, call me Kai for short. But the name of my channel is it must be Kai. Lashes or lip gloss? Lashes, okay? I can, I can do without the lip gloss. I can do without the lip gloss, okay? But if I had to choose between lashes and lip gloss, definitely lashes because <laughs> need these need these how to build and stay confident on youtube um I, I liked getting questions like that that was you know i was like oh thanks building and staying confident on youtube is just don't yuck your yum one of my professors used to say that when that's basically meaning if you love something if you're having fun doing it if you're thoroughly enjoying it be about it for you just for you you could just block out the world completely when i get behind this camera it's me and this camera it doesn't feel like it's me and 522 subscribers, you know? And it, it just makes it easier, it makes it more relaxing and stuff like that. And also just be proud of where you are. It doesn't matter where you are, but just be proud of where you are. And that's how I was able to really build my confidence and just being like, wow, I was able to go to school and get all of my credentials and then still not feel like, am I too old to start YouTube? Just not feeling that way. Realize how young you are and realize that there is no, there's no wrong time to start something or nothing. You can never do anything too late. So I say to build and stay confident. It's just, and talk to, I talk to myself in the mirror. That was on one of the tactics that I learned while being in my social work programs. Just talking to yourself in the mirror. You will not believe how much it helps. Talk to yourself in the mirror, give yourself pep talks. I do that all the time. It really helps because everybody knows you the realest person you know. And it's nothing like when you're staring in the mirror, you're literally staring into yourself and you're able to talk and just uplift yourself. And that's what gives you the momentum to continue to do things and be confident. Where you are at, the person that you look up to was once in your place. Okay. My main thing to tell everybody to build confidence is to talk to yourself in the mirror. Talk to yourself in the mirror, like one-on-one. -on -one. Keep it a buck with yourself. Get in that mirror and talk to yourself. I'm telling you, it works. Tell yourself the real. This is the time period where you can be honest with yourself and you can build your own self-confidence up. So if I had to give you a tip, talk to yourself in the mirror. 2022 goals. Okay, so I really only have a... I don't have that many goals for 2022. One of my goals is to continue to stay consistent on my YouTube channel and it just grow. That's like my first and foremost is continuing to grow my YouTube channel. Hopefully some well, brands and stuff reach out to me now, but I'm not at the point 
point where I want to promote yet because I just want to continue to build and just do what I like and what I want to do. So when brands approach me, I'm kind of just like, um, no, thank you. Not at this point. Maybe when there's more, okay, but I really just want to authentically build my following and just build more trust with y'all and not always like dang she got it's only 500 of us here and she promoting stuff already you know so definitely growing my youtube channel and staying consistent i have done amazing with that so far like i said be proud of what you've done because your girl be patting herself on the back because even when she don't feel like doing something i sit right up in right up here in front of this camera and I thoroughly enjoyed it, enjoy it and just feel so comfortable. So I want to do that in 2022. Um, currently I live with my mommy. I absolutely love living with my mom. Um, she's one of the best roommates I've ever had, but it is time for me to slide. So, I, cause um, after I graduated high school, I went straight to college. And since, so I lived in Albany, Georgia for five years. And then I lived in Tallahassee, Florida for grad school for one year. And then the pandemic happened and that's when I moved back home. So I've only been living at home for maybe like a little over a year or something like that because my second semester, I really was not in Tallahassee like that because of COVID. So it's time for me to get my own place. So that's definitely a big goal for me in 2022 is to move out and get back into my own apartment. No roommates, no nothing. So I'm actually am apartment hunting right now. So that's just, I'm so excited about that. Can't wait to get my own place. So those are really my main two goals. You know, that those are just my main two goals is to continue to grow on YouTube so that one day I can do this full time and not have to be a substitute teacher and just strictly create full time that's one and two is getting you get me a new apartment get me in my first apartment okay so that i have more room to create fun facts food allergy or guilty pleasure okay all this goes hand in hand so a fun fact about me is my food allergy um i am allergic to shellfish and mushrooms so if you think that you are gonna see me uh snacking on some crab legs and some shrimp uh-uh baby unless y'all want to see a vlog of me eating it and going to the hospital it ain't going down your girl cannot eat any type of shellfish and when i say shellfish i mean shrimp crab legs lobster tails oysters um scallops none of that can't eat any of it it just makes my mouth swell up and my tongue swell up everything just swells so i completely stay away from it and mushrooms um i don't know what it is about it it just makes all my it's like it makes all my goosebumps raise and i itch like crazy so no 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 yeah no mushrooms either and so that also brings me to my guilty pleasure my guilty pleasure is y'all know the i don't like all asmr the only asmr i like and i don't even think it's the asmr i think it's just watching other people eat what i can't so i really love watching people eat the crab legs where they dip it in the sauce and then they hold it up like this and then like, like i love every single bit of that and run down the chin and then it just like all the goop oh my gosh i absolutely love it because it be looking like it tastes so good but it's so un to me i just be like oh that's so unhealthy at the same time okay but i really really love watching stuff like that like i love to eat spicy with tea that is my favorite youtube eat girl eat spicy with tea baby when she be tearing that food up that is my guilty pleasure my boyfriend hates when i watch it i'll turn it on while he in the shower and all he hear is smacking and sucking and all that stuff he'd be like i know you ain't in here watching that but i love looking at it like it just looks like it tastes so good and to know that i can't have it it just makes it more satisfying to watch someone else eat it and she's the she's the person who i can mostly i can watch her better because it's not nasty looking like she constantly wipes her mouth she constantly wipes her hands because it, it'll mess with me like i'll be like get that get that off your, get that off your mouth get it off your mouth get it off your mouth you know so but yeah anyway that's that, that, that's my guilty pleasure so if you can relate please let me know so i don't be alone or whatever all right you guys thank you so much for tuning in to this video i hope i was able to give y'all a bunch of stuff just so you get to know me better but 
I know I missed some stuff because it's a lot of stuff about me, Sha. It's a, it's a lot of stuff about me. But I know as we continue on and we just go throughout the years, because I'm here to stay, okay? I'm here to stay. As we go throughout the years on YouTube, you all will continue to learn more about me. But anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Y'all be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope y'all enjoyed this Get To Know Me. Let me know down in the comments if you could relate to some of the stuff I said. Or if you feel the same way, please let me know so I know I'm not alone. I will see y'all in the next video.